Do you want an mm. intro or shall I? Mmm. 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 So I was just having a mouthful of my drink. Mmm. <laughs> mm. I've definitely Maybe. got autism. Yeah, I think you do. Like, not in a, like yeah. a bad way, but like in a good way. And I think. No, of course, but yeah. Yeah, I think. Um, yeah. yeah, I think you're definitely yeah, on the spectrum. <laughs> right, hey guys, welcome to this nerd life. Gals, say, non-binary pals, and everything in between. Like Jack said, um, we are going to review as a like a final look at the first look in the presents games that we've done. Okay, so we're going to talk about some stuff. We're going to probably give you some news highlights, but we're going to go straight in with our final sc- no, we're not going to go straight in. we're going to straight in with some facts but we're going to talk about our final scores on those big games that have come out recently but jack you've told me that you've gonna you're going to kick us off with some information or something what what are you going to talk to me did i no you got I'm some some things you, you want to kick I'm us off with? Oh, okay <laughs> just fucking with you fuck i hate you i saw an opportunity and, ah wow well, what can you do I want to talk to you about one man, and this is completely not topical at all. But, Elon you know, Musk. As we've just, as as a, no, not Elon Musk. Um, as as we know with me, my brain goes to some weird places sometimes, and I'll just text you about random things I'm thinking about with no context. And Correct. I had one of these moments the other day, and I thought I'm not going to text you. I'm going to I'm going to save it. I'm going to save this one because I think this would be an interesting one to talk about. It's partitism, okay. you know. Yep, yep. I'm going to butcher this person's last name. So, we'll see. But do you know... No, I'll rephrase it. You do know this person, but we'll see if you recognise the name. Michael Crichton? Yeah, 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 I know this person. Okay, who is he? He's the author of Jurassic Park. He is the author of Jurassic Park. Well done. Do you know much about this man? No... Let me, no, you I don't. didn't seem so sure. There is another piece of information about Michael Crichton in my head. Okay. I haven't yet accessed it. So I know there's something else I know about him, but I don't know what it is. If you know what well, I mean. I'm going to tell you some information about this man. How have we got here? Look. I don't know. I think I randomly thought about Jurassic Park the other day, which led me to look <laughs> up the author, which led me to read his Wikipedia, which have learnt, led nice. me to learn some things. Okay? Hit me. Again, the tism. Right. Fun fact number one. One of his alternate pen names was Michael Douglas. Which is just, you know, it's cool. Nice. nice, nice what name. did he write under Michael Douglas? Anything oh. I know? Um, I'm, not, I'm not this well prepared. Okay, okay, okay. I'll have a look. Anyway. This fucker, right? And he's still alive, I guess. Is he still alive? Ah, oh, shit, no, no. he's dead. He, oh, he hella dead. He's dead. Yeah. This man has been married five times. Which blew my mind a little, right? Because that's a lot of effort when you think about it. Because if you think about it, right, you got you got to go out and meet someone. Mm. You've got to establish that they like you. And if, you know, you like them. Then you've got to go on some dates or whatever. Get to that dating stage. Get to the exclusivity stage. Get to the love stage. Probably get to the moving in stage. And then the engagement stage, then the marriage stage. And he did that five times. Which yeah, just but seems some crazy people, to me. Some people do just go, we marry me. And uh, without doing all those separate stages, they do just jump in. So maybe, I mean, how long were each of his marriages? So 1965 to 1970 was his first one. So five years. Ooh, okay. 1978 to 1980 was his second one. So only two years. Yeah. 1981. So this fucker divorced in 1980 and remarried the very next year in 1981. <laughs> and then divorced them in 1983. Then yeah, in, these marriages are not long, right, are they? They're not long. And then 1987 to 2003. So a bit longer, that one. Six years. And then in 2003, divorced. And then in 2005, remarried. <laughs> That's a lot of effort, I think. I couldn't imagine doing it five times. How old is this guy? Or how old was he? He died at 66, I want to say. 66 in 2008. So he would have been... 
you know, 63, 64 in 2005 when he got last married. This guy must, uh, Riz must dye his hair. Undefeated. He must dye his hair, right? I'm looking at a picture oh, yeah, of him from 2002. To. So he was 64 at that time. No, sorry. He was 61 at that time. And he's got a full head of brown hair. Bullshit. I'm calling yeah. bullshit. I just, I think that's a lot of effort because we've all been there after a breakup and you go, oh, outside of, you know, having heartbroken or whatever rubbish, you go, oh, I've got to restart the whole process again. He did it five times. Mm. That's just, I don't know. There's something about that to me that just seems like that's more effort than it's worth, you know? And do you think, do you like, reckon, eight... go on. Um, do you reckon it was um, kind of his fame that... He was fame and I mean, uh, maybe not fame, was, but like success. Maybe, but like, I, I, not without being derogatory. When have anyone actually ever given a shit about authors in a celebrity style? Like, obviously, a lot of people mm. read and love authors. I, you know, I have my favorite authors or whatever. But like, they don't ever reach celebrity status. Do you know what I mean? Like, That's if true, I said yeah, to yeah. you, if I list you five authors, really popular authors, like. Uh, describe me Suzanne Collins. You couldn't because she's not... We don't treat authors that way. So I don't think it would be a fame thing because like maybe you hear his name and you go, oh, I know that guy. But like, you, I, except from J.K. Rowling, most authors could probably walk past you in the street and you would have no idea. There's only two so I don't think it was a fame that I can thing. think of, two others that mm. I can think of where I'd be like, oh, I know you from looking at their face. Mm -hmm. And that's Stephen King. Because he's got a weird face. Of course, um, yeah. Also, because he's quite famous as, a, as an mm -hmm. author. And Terry Pratchett, but he's dead. So... Yeah. And he was he was a big like advocate for like, outsiders and stuff because that's how he died. Um, mm. or I think it was... I think he went through euthanasia or whatever at the end. I don't know. Lived in the dream. I can't remember. There was a documentary about it. Um, mm. But yeah. Him as well, because he was like old and he wore like a, like a big hat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I get what you mean. Yeah, authors aren't like celebrities, are they? They should be, but they're not treated like such. Mm, mm -hmm. So I don't know yeah. if it's that. It's just, I don't know, five times. Do you think each wedding got progressively worse? Like the very first one, you know, massive <laughs> wedding, massive church, you know, horse and carriage. And by the number five, it's like, oh, just, just, you want to go to Vegas? We'll just go to Vegas. Yeah, yeah. Just like a bid. Just last one's just in a bid. Do you have any kids? It's like too much effort. Uh, two. Two. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, two. Next mm. fact about this guy. I don't know why. You ever wonder what you're doing with your life because I'm having that moment right now. It seemed like such a good idea in the moment and now I'm just thinking. This is back to the Power Rangers thing, right? You posted that, that short the other day where I was like, uh, just to be clear, women, I'm, I'm still not watching Power Rangers. Um, <laughs> yeah. I would like to say, just to be clear, women, I'm not. I'm not spending my nights reading random facts about things. Uh, that was a lie. That was a lie. That was a disgusting little lie. I am. I'm, I'm a pathetic loser. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> this man most known for written Jurassic Park. Written? Yeah, he mm -hmm. written Jurassic Park, Mark. He wrote good. Jurassic Park, the book. That's, a, that's good words there, Jack. Good words. Maroon 5. Maroon. 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 Yeah, so a little inside joke at my expense. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> he is well known. Well, he's not well known. He writ oh, for fuck's sake. He writ it. wrote. He wrote two or wrote slash directed slash created. We'll say two other very popular pieces of media. Do you know what they are? No, this he is didn't. Where the little do, known facts come in. He didn't do the Jurassic Park films, so I don't know. No. First one, Westworld, the original one. He both wrote no. and directed Westworld, the original film. Oh. Right? Okay. That blew I my mind when I found that out. I no, there was an original. Oh, you're such a such an idiot. How did you not know there was an original Westworld? It's the first film to utilize 2D uh, computer generated imagery. I thought it was a book. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Yeah, idea. moving on. How did you not know this? You're, I don't know. This is what this is like. This is let's get into some beef before we continue because this is what bothers me about you, among many, many, many things. Um, 
is that you're a student of the film, right? You have a degree yes. in the film. I think that was the official yes. title of the university course, right? The film. The film, yeah. It was. You have a surprising lack of knowledge in certain areas regarding the film. And I get you don't have to be an expert, but it's just like, how did you not know this? Surely this would have been like a study. Not at all, no. That hurts me, you know? Mm. Mm. It just I feel like you should know some of these things. And do you know what? Yesterday you really did upset me. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it out there. I was quite hurt by you yesterday. To the point now, I wasn't sure if I wanted <laughs> no. to continue our friendship. No, I really no. wasn't sure about our friendship no. after last night. Well, don't don't no, know me. No. It's my opinion. I... I'm, I'm entitled to my feelings. No, that was that's. I'm sure that if we if we were to ask a hundred people right. to tell the events of each film, <laughs> each Fast and Furious film between five, six, seven, and eight, if you could tell me the exact storyline of each one and not get them confused. I ten percent could do it out of a hundred. Ten people could do it, I reckon. Bullshit, can you? Actually, you probably can. <laughs> you fucking. Oh, I could. Tism. Yeah, but I rewatched them like a few months ago, didn't I? So it's fresh. Oh yeah, that's true. I mean, I watched them. I watched them every maybe every couple of years or so. But actually, I watched them. Last time I watched them was when Fast Nine came out. Right. So like, like I could tell you the events, but of that like segment of the timeline, but. I couldn't tell you the exact events. No way. But but here's the thing, you're 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 a student of the film. I don't know if I've mentioned this before. You're a student of the film. I am. And I think universally, unanimously, no debate about it. We as a society have agreed Fast and Furious is the best film franchise ever. I can do this. Hold on. <laughs> Give me another take. Oh, okay. Take two. Give me Go. Yeah. <laughs> no, come on, hold on. I need to get this out of my system. Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take Fine. three. Cool action. Action. Cool fuck. No. Oh my god, student of the film. One more time. Give me an action. Action. We. <laughs> no, run it for the top. We're still, we're still going. We're still going. We as a side okay, came rolling, together and agreed that. Oh my god, I was nailing it then, and you cut me off halfway through. <laughs> right, just silent, take, take silence on the five. set. Silence on the side. Take five. Take five. Action. Go. We as a side. <laughs> Floods my line. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Roll it back. Take it from the top. We as a society came together and agreed that Fast and Furious was the best film franchise ever made. And the best bit of media content ever made. Hell, it might be the best piece of written work we've ever seen. And you as a student of the film should know that. You should appreciate that. And then what did you have the nerve, the balls, the guts to say in our group chat yesterday? That they all kind of mould into one big film after a while. The level of disrespect you showed, I think you should give your degree back. And that's all I'm trying to say. You should give your degree <laughs> they can, back. They can have it. It's not like I'm using it. <laughs> but no, I stand by, I stand by that. I stand by it. No, I um. You can stand by it, but you're wrong. I stand by my opinion that they only some. I can tell. I can one, two, three, four, and nine. I can mm -hmm. tell you what happens in them. Five, six, okay. seven, eight. Yeah, go. Give it a try. Give, one. give me a very quick sum up of one to nine. Very quickly. Okay. One is mm -hmm. about Vin Diesel driving. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. driving. And, yeah. It's street racing and stuff. Mm -hmm. Number two. That's no, it. That's no, pretty no, much it. Still, no, 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 number one. No, is... no, no, there's a big part of number one. What you're missing. Uh, They're trying to steal. I don't know. A car? No. DVD players. That's the whole point of the, the stealing DVD players. Oh, yeah. The, the trucks. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, oh, for the big know. part, there's a big race of it. And that's all I remember from that. Anyway. Okay. They're still DVD yeah, players. Cool. Number two. No Vin Diesel. Tyrese and Paul Walker, and then we hungry. They, yeah, they meet old Ludacris, and they go on that like uh, uh, journey for the Mexican guy to uh, become mm -hmm. his racers, and they're like undercover police. It's a cool film. Number three, my pocket's ain't drift. empty, cause yeah. Oh, and <laughs> the best three. line, oh, right? I'm gonna before um, the best line, and we're gonna say it on go at the same time, and we we'll see if we got the same. Well, wait, I gotta remember what it is. Head. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, okay, I, do, I can't remember the exact wording. 
Right, three, two, one, go. Ejecto curse. <laughs> oh my god. No, no, okay, we thought of different things. No, the best bit is when he's like, wait, I'm talking about number three. That's not. No, I said number two. Oh, I was talking about number three already. Okay. Yeah, yeah. ejecto cedo curse is always going to be my favourite line. Okay, <laughs> number three. Correct. Number three. Number three. Tokyo Drift. He goes, mm-hmm. it's old, it's old, is it Connor? Is his name Connor? I no, it's Sean. You tried. Sean. Sean. He's in <laughs> Texas or California or something. He's got a Texan accent and he goes mm-hmm. to Japan because he's getting in trouble a lot and he learns how to drift and he becomes the new drift king and yeah, Gets the girl and that's it. He meets this little oh, black kid good, that he becomes good. friends with. Mm-hmm. Number four is the return of Vin Diesel and Paul Walker. It's the first film mm-hmm. where they've kind of got superpowers and it's another heist. And that's all I can remember. I can't really remember why, what they're doing in this one. It's not a heist. They're is doing it? the oh, race. It's the special race in the desert. Yes. Yeah, I remember that one. I remember that one. And doesn't yes. Vin Diesel crash his car at the end? He gets put Vin Diesel's always crashing his car. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And then five is the ones with the safes. The best one. Yeah. Yeah, the big high, uh, big safes. Mm-hmm. Number six is... See, then it goes... Six is uh, Luke Evans. Mm-hmm. Yep. But I don't remember why. I don't he's remember anything else. I just know that God's he's... Eye, I think. Right, this is the introduction right. of the Game of Thrones chick, I think. Okay. And then... And then I've lost it. And then, I don't know. No, seven you can do the Cypher? Song. Is Seven Cypher? No. Okay, Seven is the introduction... Oh, wait, no, Six. I'm on Six. Six is Cypher. No, you you just done Six with Luke Evans. Oh yeah, seven is I. I don't know. Seven, seven is, is Let me give Jason you a hint. Statham. Yeah, Dominic Toretto. You don't know me, but you're about to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he kills Han. He does kill Han. Yeah, but I don't remember the reason for it. What? What else did they do? Because they fucked up his little brother, Luke Evans. Oh, so is it just them trying to it's... fight him? Is that the whole film? Yeah, he's out, he's out for revenge. Vin, uh, Vin Diesel, sorry. Statham wants revenge for them fucking up his little brother. Okay. So he comes then, after the family. Yes. Yeah, okay. Then eight is... Cypher. Yeah, eight Cypher. And they're, like, basically saving the world against nuclear attack or something. Because she recruits who? Letty. No, keep going. Letty was recruited by Owen Shaw, uh, Luke Evans. Fuck. I don't know. We literally discussed this film last night with the harpoon cars. Yeah. Who was in the picture that Max sent us? Oh, Vin Diesel. Yeah. Oh, Dominic. Oh, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, because he's like gone rogue. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. I remember. And they were like, oh, why? Because... And it's because she's going to kill someone, right? She's going to, he's going to, she's going to kill the entire family. And he's like, no, okay, I'll yeah. work for you. And then, yeah, kill okay. His son. And then, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. And then nine is John Cena and they have the magnet mm-hmm. cars. Yeah. That I remember. And then Hobson Shaw. Then Hobson Shaw, which was shit. Yeah, yeah. It was fine. It was fine. See, you yeah. could do it. I believed in uh, it. Yeah. I needed a lot of help. You I mean, a lot of help. I mean, you can't you can't deny that they all very they're all very very similar. Apart from those first three, they're all very similar. And it's I mean, like I do it, no problem. No, no no hate no hate to it because I like I like watching them and um, it's always they're fun to watch. But <laughs> this, it's an easy money making scheme. They go okay. It's like that video you sent me a while back where the guy's like, okay, how, <laughs> we're gonna make another yeah, fast viewers. This. Give me a bald guy. Give me another <laughs> bald guy. Okay, one more bald guy. Okay, give me a car, fast car. <laughs> you know, it's just give yeah, me an outlandish scene flying a car through <laughs> yeah. the water. It's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now give me yeah. a surprise cameo at the end. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Okay, give me someone See? who's died. Okay, we're bringing them back. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, best film franchise ever made, and we have that on camera yep. now because I managed to get through it easily in one take. Easy um, peasy. And potentially we're going to get a three-part ending now, which is what's not to like. That'll be good. And apparently we'll old, uh, Paul, Walker's, Paul Walker's daughter's in it, isn't she? Yeah, as a cameo, I saw that. She's uh, but, uh, She's got a really long neck. <laughs> <laughs> have you noticed? I thought I had a horrible joke lined up. Even I'm not so sure I should put on camera. If you, if you don't think so, maybe maybe keep it in. Yeah, I'll tell you afterwards. So. Nice. Okay. Um, um, okay. Going back to Michael Crichton because this is this is where we started. Is there any other any other facts that you want? Uh, yeah, one last to tell one. me about him. Yeah, he is a creator of a certain very very popular television show. Called ER. No. Yep. He is the creator of ER. That's madness. What the fuck? I know, okay. right? I understand why this guy got married so many times. He's not just the author of Jurassic Park, is he? He's a successful author. He's created the original Westworld and he fucking created ER. So, yeah. There's People love one him. last fact about him. Okay. Ready? Hit me. Yeah, yeah. He's also a doctor, a medical doctor. He went to medical school, completed it, and then decided he wanted to go and be an author instead of being a doctor. That's badness. What, he, what did he specialise in? Anything specific or is it just... Uh, I'll, I'll just give doctor. him a ring. Oh, fuck, I don't know. Yeah, all right. Um, <laughs> Hold on, let me double, I, I, let me double check. Uh, uh, wait, did I make up this medical thing? I don't think I did. I don't know. <laughs> no, I, no, I don't think I did. Okay. But it's like... I mean, um, uh, oh, yeah, no, no. He went to Harvard Medical School. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Okay, wicked, wicked. Um, it's like, well, it's like he that actor, a, isn't he it? He obtained um, a bachelor's Ken, degree Ken. in biological anthropology. Hmm. Okay. Very cool. Uh, that's a, yeah, but I don't know if that's before or after. He went to medical school, is my point, and he completed med school, medical school. Yeah, but chose nah, Fuck it, I'll be an author instead. Well, it's like Ken Ken Jong. Is that his name? Um, uh, yeah. And he um he was he's a doctor, but he was like fuck it, I want to be an yes. actor, and he yeah. just became an actor. <laughs> I don't know if I'm yeah. making this up, so I'm just gonna say it and assume it's true. I'm pretty sure he became an actor so late in life because I think his wife was ill. I might be making this up. I make a lot of things up, like uh, when I tell people. Oh, I'm and she. My friend. She told and She him got really ill. And yeah, and she's like, you need to go and next, you know, in case I don't make it kind of thing. I want to say, like, you need to go do this. I think that's true. I could look yeah, it I, up I, I think, want to. I think that's true because I, in my head, I know that to be true. So, mm. yeah. Nice. Those nice. are my fun facts for you. I hope you liked them. I've got a fun fact for you. Okay. You didn't um, say whether you liked them or not. Not that I'm hurt by that or anything. Sorry? Uh, it's just like I said, I hope you liked them, and then you just moved on, so I guess you didn't like them. Oh, before. I never did. sorry, I did, I did like them. It's, um, I'm curious how you got onto Michael Crichton, though. I explained this to you, I, think, I was thinking about Jurassic Park. And you just went, okay, I'm just going to look at look at the author. Yeah. Isn't yeah, that fair not a natural thing? <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, it's fine. No. Um, no, okay. I've got a fact for you. Okay. Roses are the are the only edible plant. What? That's not true. <laughs> a rose petals are the I don't know. Oh, maybe flower. What? Flower was it? It was the only edible flower. I don't know. I read it yesterday. Never mind. Um, no, no, no. We, we can't just move on from that. I, what the fuck? You can eat any plant. I mean, you can. Eat anything. Like you, you, you eat, can like eat you eat carrots. And they're a plant. We're not getting into this. We're going to move on. <laughs> no, I wish I hadn't brought it up. <laughs> As we've established in our in our private life, carrots are plants, and you eat those. Maybe it was flour then. Maybe I meant to say flour. Anyway, did you know you can actually get square watermelons? Yes, I knew that. Let's go back to the fucking <laughs> roses. I'm I need gonna, to get I'm an answer. I, I need a definitive answer on what this is. Rose. Because I could literally go oh, out right now and eat a daisy if I wanted to. Like, you shouldn't, but it won't hurt you, I don't think. Like, because that's what you vegans eat. 
<laughs> Dickhead. Um, <laughs> and as I said, Karen um, is a plant. Okay, I think that fact that I read is fucking bullshit because you can eat other flowers. This is dog shit. I don't know what you the fuck I was reading. Flower if you're brave enough. I mean, yeah, but I just typed in edible flowers and there's other things that have come up here that aren't roses. So I think I made that up. Let's cut that. <laughs> the carrots come up. No, we're not cutting any of this. The carrots come up. No, 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 no. It's fine. No, no, they didn't. Carrots aren't edible flowers. Are you ready to admit that carrots are plant? Carrots are a plant. <gasps> you finally admitted it. I did. I, I'm not. I'm not denying it. <laughs> when did I deny it? Wait, I you forgot what side it. of this dumb joke I was on. <laughs> <laughs> You're on my side now. I've converted you. <laughs> Wait, no. Yeah, no. I was arguing it's a plant, and you were saying it's a vegetable. No, I was saying no, no. Because I was, I was making the dumb argument. I was making the one that makes no sense, which is it's a plant, which makes no sense when it's a vegetable. Okay, yeah, yeah. But I was arguing that a vegetable and a plant are the same thing. They're not. The, oh, on, carrots are not that they're, they're, they're the same thing, but a carrot. I just is love a plant that I've got you back onto vegetable. this topic. I fucking, I, 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 <laughs> I fucking said I wasn't going to get into it. We're not getting into it. Let's move on. I don't want to move on. That's the problem. <laughs> I know we could talk about this for an hour, but I'm not going to. We could talk about it in our own time. You seem a little angsty there, buddy. You're right. I look carrots are plants because a vegetable is a plant. Now, if you go on Wikipedia right now and search for Google, search for carrot, do it now. We'll do it with me. Carrot, just type in carrot Wikipedia. Okay. <laughs> Brother, Tell me when you're there. there. I've already won. I've already won. I've got you. On I'm, this. I'm fuming. Right? Are you no, there? It's fine. It's fine. No, I'm Are not, you there? You, no, I haven't done anything. What do you want me to do? Type. Go to Google yeah. and type. Carrot. Yeah, we should provide some context. This like we had an, a, a fake argument the other day. I was trying to wind you up by saying that carrots are a plant and not a vegetable. And I know I'm wrong, but I just it's funny to wind Mark up about the simplest things. What am I yeah, typing in? Because even. <laughs> A carrot Wikipedia. And Carrots yeah, Wikipedia. Because even when I know I'm right, Jack could just say something and I'm just like instantly fueled with so much <laughs> anger that I can't comprehend an argument. That like I can't I just can't. I do on purpose, it. as you know. I know. I know, I know I'm wrong you, when I say these wild you, things. You know, I just like doing it. You know how to get under my skin no, by saying it, like I love stupid things like skin. Carrots are, carrots are not a vegetable, it's a, it's a plant, or whatever you're fucking saying. They go in anyway, the ground and they grow just like plants do. Look, I'm, yeah, I'm agreeing that a carrot and a plant, uh, a vegetable and a... Okay, and then go... So you're, you're on the carrot page, right? Yeah, I'm on the carrot page. Now go... Look on the right, under the picture, it says Kingdom Plant. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, it says Plant yeah. Air. So, that means that vegetables are plants. And therefore, yeah. a carrot is a plant and a vegetable. There it doesn't mean vegetables are plants. It means ca this carrot's a plant. Yeah, but a carrot Look. is a vegetable. And therefore, without searching, we can understand logically that a carrot is a vegetable and a plant. Now, that's it. We're moving on. <laughs> no, but it's the same way as a book is a tree, right? Because it's made, no, you know, it's... the paper <sighs> came from a tree. So therefore, a book is a tree. So when I read my book later, I'm reading a tree. Yeah, yeah you are. You are. But it's oh, so you a different now. state, so I'm um, no, yeah, I'm agreeing. But it's in the same way that ice is water. Now, nah, water and ice are different things. <laughs> no, the fucking same. Because what Just, they, they okay. got different? A book, one's a solid and one's a, a liquid. You idiot. <laughs> yeah, but it's the same uh, chemical makeup, just in different states. Now, a book and a tree are the same thing, just in different states. Is my argument? There you go. Anyway, can we move on, please? I'm getting... I'm sweating. Let's discuss vegans. <laughs> Let's not. Uh, anyway. But carrots is a plant, but not a vegetable. Okay, yeah. they go, it goes in the ground and it grows. Like plants do. But, and so do vegetables. And the vegetable is a type of plant. Not all vegetables grow that way. <laughs> Oh god, I'm okay. Okay, okay. Um, okay. We're moving on. We're moving on. 
So we're anyway, vegans, right? <laughs> okay, okay, you okay, you get two questions. Then we're moving on about veganism. I got two questions. Yeah, you can ask any question and then we've got to move on. Because I, okay. can't, I can't I can't handle the stress on a Sunday. So I was watching this interview, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> With a vegan farmer. Yeah. Okay. And okay. he he was talking about how they grow I don't know, tofu in the ground. I don't fucking know how veganism works. <laughs> anyway. Right. Soybeans. And he was saying, pardon? Soy, the tofu is made out of soybeans. So he would have been make, been growing And soybeans. beans come from a can by Plants. lines, I think. I don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, they've got to grow your, your plants or whatever you people eat um, in the ground, yeah. right? In, in farmland, so. And he was saying, like, you know, I'm a vegan farmer stuff, but Here's the thing that vegans don't think about. I can't believe we're going down this road on a Sunday. And I'm actually not saying this to wind you up. It's a genuine... I think it's an interesting thought. An interesting uh, okay. thing to think about. It's like to to grow your vegan shit, two things have to happen. You need to have the land space, right? Which means yep. they kill all the animals that were there so they can have the land space. And then they're constantly putting poison down to kill any animals like bugs and shit that get close to the crops because the crops have to stay vegan. So in the process of making vegan food, you're killing animals. That was just an interesting thought, I think. I have a counter argument. Okay. So in order to feed one person, for example, on a diet of soybeans, it would take up much less resources, pesticides, land, even water, than it would to feed one person solely on beef. Because a mm -hmm. cow needs much more area of land to live mm -hmm. than one soybean does. Now, obviously, one soybean is not going to feed a person, but you could harvest a, small, a large amount of soybeans in a small amount of area. So, and so obviously soybeans are quite versatile. You can make them into burgers, sausages, whatever you want, you know. So actually, you're doing the world more harm by eating beef, eating chicken, whatever, animals, livestock that need the area space, as well as imagine all the water that's being wasted because it's going through their system, etc. And, uh, yeah. Said, and though, did it? What was the question? They have, to kill, they have to kill animals and bugs and stuff to keep your vegan uh, crops from being contaminated by animals so it stays vegan. So they sit, yeah, but to, same... to make vegan things, you have to kill animals. Not necessarily. Really? Because you don't think pesticides, bugs, and insects get into crops? And you think that they just, what, let that happen? Or do you think they kill them to keep the crops safe and to keep their money safe? It's a, it's a necessary evil. Ah, uh, so it's okay to kill animals when it's, you know, benefiting you getting vegan food. Um, to to, <laughs> to Mark, sustain I... <laughs> myself, to live? Yes, Mark, yes, it is. This entire time you've been talking, I've just been doing like, pretending like I'm fishing, like I've been fishing and I've caught, I've caught my oh, bait just... today. <laughs> you have, yeah, you've so got... I will maintain you've... my argument that if any vegan has a pet, they're not a vegan. Anyway, should we move no, on? No, I fucking, no. Uh, uh, yeah, we're moving on, we're moving on, okay. No, because, um, like, you can't be like zoos are bags, they keep animals in cages, and then you keep your animal in your house, which, doesn't matter how luxurious it is, it's still a cage, and you're still forcing it into an environment it doesn't want to be in, to eat the things it doesn't naturally eat, and to perform little tricks for your amusement. That, my friend, is animal cruelty. Moving on. But it's better than... It's not animal cruelty. What? I, I fucking you're forcing an cats. animal into an environment it doesn't want to be in. Yeah. I am forced vegan. into an environment I don't want to be in, but I have to live in society, so so do the cats. Anyway, moving on. They should be out in the wild. And you go before you go, oh, but it's safer for them. That's not the point of it, is it? The point is not to trap animals. If they're going to die out in the wild, that's called Mother Nature. The most vegan thing they to do. Why is it even okay to was... keep a dog in a house but not a lion? Look, no because it's un unsafe for the person who has right, the lion in the house. Put this this way, but, Mark. If I kidnap look, you, look, right? No, 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 listen, yep. if I kidnap you and stick you in a mansion, right, yep. and I fed you the best food, and I let you yep. watch all the anime you wanted to watch, I don't know why I said that, you don't watch anime, <laughs> um, <laughs> Okay. and, you know, I, I, I rubbed your belly, made sure you had nice little belly rubs whenever you wanted it, um, do I put peanut butter on penis? Yeah, sometimes, but you're okay with it, um, 
when your family calls the police on me and they raid the mansion and they arrest me, they're not going to go, it's okay, he was in luxury. It's still kidnap kidnapping, entrapment, and forcing you into an environment you don't want to be in. That's the same thing with animals and vegans. Consider yourself taken to church. I hate, I just hate your arguments. <laughs> I'm not you're just wrong. wrong. You just you're just wrong. Like my cat, how am I? Because I right. I give the I give my cats the choice to go outside every day. They go outside and they don't run away. They like they like living with me. Did they That's explicitly it. That's the express your consent? Did you take them uh, out well, of their natural habitat, the wild, and put them no. in a cage? Yes, they are literally in a cage living in your house. It's a nice cage, no, but it's a cage nonetheless. They love, they, they love it. There's, sure, there's grab, grab your cat now and ask it to provide consent. No, they're really loud. They're annoying to get in and out of this room, so no. They um, should be in the wild, otherwise why aren't you taking cows in? I, I don't have the room for a cow, sorry. Yeah, otherwise don't. I would. I'd have a couple of pigs, if I could. I, don't, I just yeah. don't have the room I'd for I'd have it. a pig too, to be fair. Pigs are cool. I'm just anyway, saying, it doesn't less, matter how nice the cage is, it's still a cage. Yeah, well, that's a that's a microcosm for society, isn't it? Anyway, I would like to clarify. I was just kidding through all of that. I just like winding Mark up. It's so fun. <laughs> yeah, appreciate that. Appreciate it. Um, I got anyway, you though. Come on. You fucking you've you've riled me up for a Sunday, and it's um, it's, but it's, it's, it's kind content. of upset me. <laughs> Has it really upset you? No, no, no. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, that's a shame. Um, I like these little arguments. So, um, anyway, and you know I don't on. mean. No, no, last one, you know I don't mean them. I know you don't, I know you don't. Let's focus our attention to the main content. Or should have been the main content. I think I'm getting cancelled by vegans for this. Do <laughs> you imagine if this is the no. video that goes, goes like, massive? And I have fucking got viral. fucking vegan campaigns coming after me. Just, and to them I would say, you, you, got, you don't have the strength to catch me. Yeah, not enough meat in you. You... <laughs> <laughs> I think you should. Oh come on! I'm kidding. I love vegans. I love vegans. I know. They're great. I think, I think. I think you should. Be I would. I would. I would respect them more if instead of putting their time and effort into don't drink milk, they put it into stopping child slavery. But you know, we've all got our courses. We all need cheap clothing, so um, you know. I don't want to spend. This has been a great episode, jeans, Mark. So... This has been a great episode. <laughs> anyway, give me. Actually, one more thing I want to talk about. Okay, go for it. Zelda. Big old, big Zelda release. Mm -hmm. Are you going to play it? Have you ever played it? I don't have a Switch. Oh, yeah. Never mind, then. <laughs> Are you going to play it? Um, I am. I've actually been playing Breath of the Wild, so the first one. So once I finish that, I'm going to... Um, don't gonna you kill animals anyway. in that game, Mark? No, no, I don't. Oh, you can, but I don't. As a vegan, I don't. Any game I play... Yeah, really, because I vegan, know you're playing Last of Us 2 and you have to kill those dogs, so don't give me that shit. <laughs> no, I just run, I run past them. I stroke them and run past them. You stroke them, too. I'm just... I fucking... I fucking hate that game. Um, I don't really hate, hate it. It's game. just a, just the collectibles pissing me off now. It's That's so all easy. I, every time I see you're still playing it, I actually get a little bit mad at you because it shouldn't be taking you this long. <laughs> I, I've only so played easy. for like, um, I haven't even played for like 30 hours yet. Dude, I had the Platinum way before 30 hours. Oh, I missed a lot of collectibles on my first playthrough, so. I honestly don't know how it's taken you this long. I'm just not very good at games, Jack. <laughs> no, that's I've a lie, this... you are, that's the thing. That's what disappoints to... me, because I know you're good at games. I've come to this conclusion recently that I'm not very good at games. That's veganism, so... it's done. <laughs> yeah, that too, okay, that okay. too. Um, I would like to, uh, right. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop now because it is a joke. It is just a joke. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I know. Just for I context, know. the Platinum should, yeah, should take you, it says 25 to 30 hours, but I feel like that's way overestimating. I don't know how you, did you get all of your collectibles in like the first run? Because... I got the majority of them, yeah. So when I replayed, so I played it all the way through, got the majority of them, and then Sarah wanted to play it all the way through again straight away. But I popped the platinum like a quarter of the way into my second playthrough. Yeah, so I haven't done my second playthrough yet. I've um, mm. I've played the game, 
I missed out fucking shitloads of collectibles. So I've just been going day by day and doing it. I've got one more day to do. No, not even a full day. It's Ellie's first day in Seattle, I think, I've got to do. I've only got to get like five more collectibles. Then all the collectibles are done. And then I can go back and get all the upgrades and stuff, which shouldn't take too long. I just think I just need to get to like Abby's first day because she's nearly done. It's Ellie's upgrades that were the problem. Mm. Um, it shouldn't take me too long, but I don't play it every day anymore. So I only play it on Wednesdays. Um, when I've got game night with Joel, so I only play it then because I've been playing Star Wars, which leads us nicely into where we are going. Unless there's something you want to say about Last of Us. Uh, no, I just think you should have it by now. I'll get it soon enough. So, for the last twenty minutes, we're going to discuss these games about uh, that we've. Oh, fuck me. This is <laughs> we spend forty minutes on just absolute shit. It's our podcast. We do what we want. We do what we want, fam. Yeah, I, I mean, I've got fucking veganism arguments in my head, like why I shouldn't. Oh, be hit a me, vegan baby. Anymore. Hit me. <laughs> just no, nah, hit me. Let's, I shouldn't. Fuck it. Let's let's quickly do it. Dead Island Two is a great game. Star Wars is a great game. Redfall can go fuck itself. Right. Let's talk about veganism. <laughs> I just don't think that I should be vegan anymore. You've 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 swayed you me. That's all I. That's no, all have I convinced you've you. Me. Well, it's more no, the cat I... thing. Like, I think my cats are prisoners in my own house, but if I'm a vegan, yeah. then I shouldn't be doing that. So I should either let my cats free or not be a vegan. So I might just go get some chicken later. Okay, let's get into this. Right. All the jokes, <laughs> is, I, I, everything I've said today, you know me. I'm, I'm very much a person that will just say outlandish shit that I don't believe is true, just for a bit of fun. But I will stand by that keeping an animal, I don't, I don't understand how that's vegan. Because obviously you're not eating the animal, um, but you're s you can't say zoos are bad. And I get some zoos obviously do some awful shit. I do get that, but like you can't say the imprisonment of animals is bad except from when I do it. Because it doesn't matter how luxurious your house is or how well the animals treated, you have taken it out of its environment and forced it into a situation it did not consent to against its will. And but you I think it to do tricks and eat food that's not part of its natural diet. How is that? But I think how's that veganism? Especially like really fish. Think... Take fish for example. You've taken the fish out of water, the ocean, its natural habitat, out of nature, and forced it into a tiny little cage. But vegans go, "That's cool. It's a pet." It's like, I don't. I don't. Because let's take, yeah, let's take fish because I think that makes it um, an easier thing to talk about. You have taken an animal out of its environment, out of the ocean, potentially away from its family, and you have put it in a much tinier cage and you force it to swim around for your pleasure in a small area. How's that? Fish how's deserve that vegan? it. Yeah, fish fish, fucking, deserve it. Sh fish fucking, shit. fucking deserve it. I just... That's not vegan. It's... In any way, they, they would, would get treated better in a zoo of fish at that point. Nah, zoos are, zoos are dog shit. Talking Zoom's about fish, though, in particular, because they would have a massive tank. So you, you're taking. I don't care. I don't care about fish. Well, then you're not vegan properly. You're supposed, it's, I'm you a bad can't vegan. be one foot in, one foot out. No, I'm a vegan because of my own dietary requirements. I'm not a mm. vegan because I love every animal under the sun. Yeah. But the the argument I have for pets, you say all this shit like it's taken out of the natural environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yes, but my cats are domesticated. Plus, the environment that they were in prior is so much worse than what I give them. And I give them love. I give them food. I make sure that they don't get attacked. I make sure that they are, you know, in a loving environment and they have everything they need to survive. Is better than what they could do. I'm not saying that. It's 100% vegan of me to fucking not let my cats run mm. wild. They just wouldn't survive. So, yes, it's for my own pleasure. But, you know, what's better to survive? Me or, uh, you know, a cat? Me. So, I selfishly want a couple of cats in my life to make me feel better. Plus, they're okay because they're not, you know, they're not dying on the streets. That's mm -hmm. the argument. And that is the only argument Cause I'm not going to eat I them, would, yeah. And I'm yeah, not we'll being cruel hungry, to them, yeah. which are, <laughs> well, maybe. But that's the two. That's the two arguments, isn't it? Like, don't eat them mm. and don't be cruel to them. You know, mm. that's that's the thing. Like, people, vegans don't buy products tested on animals. Yes, it's quite hard to know if they actually have or if mm. a parent company or if the company that you're buying from does blah blah blah. But if you know that it's 
you know, as a vegan recipe or if it's, you know, not treat, not treat, the animals aren't treated cruelly, blah, blah, blah. You buy that product. It's the same with the cat. Mm -hmm. Like I've bought this cat because I need to give it a better life. I want to give it a better life. It gives my life more meaning. Plus I'm not eating it and I'm not fucking being cruel to it. (laughs) So there you go. That's vegan. The one you could argue is you can't pick and choose. Would it have a worse environment, life in the wild? Maybe. Maybe it won't. Yeah. Who knows? But you can't pick and choose. I mean, like, you're still taking out of this environment. So in that argument, cows get killed all the time, lions, birds, rats, mice. So we've got to take them all in. But they don't need to. What do you mean? They don't need to be killed. No, what I'm saying is like, you're saying like you, your cat, or your dog, whatever, might die out in the wild, you're, you're guaranteeing its safety by having it as a pet. You can make that argument mm. for every animal in the world. Oh, yeah. So, therefore, we but... should have every animal as a pet. The only reason vegans think it's okay is because we as a society have told ourselves it's okay. Yeah, because they're domesticated. Why don't you bring in a monkey? But it's also, it's 100% a selfish reason for me to get a cat. But mm. I'm getting a cat because I want a cat. And at, yeah. at the end of the day, you've got to do what you want to do, you know? If, if I oh, turn around I don't, and go, I don't oh, actually care. Well, I, I want, want a pet, like... I, yeah, I'm not, yeah, like the other day I went to the pet shop. I wanted to get a couple mm-hmm. of rats. I didn't because I'm not an idiot, Ugh. you know, yeah, but I wanted it. Yeah. And they're cute. They're really cute. It was like a sandy they colored are. rat. And I was like, that's cute. Yeah. Anyway, but the point is like, yes, it's entirely selfish, but I'm not being not a vegan because I'm get, getting I mean, a cat. Yeah, you're just, you're just putting an animal, animal in a cage. Yeah, that's definitely vegan. Um, yeah. yeah, but then again, you fucking... <laughs> use you sustain and um you know you you push forward the the the, the worst treatment of animals uh by eating meat do i you know and yeah yeah because you 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 you're sustaining this meat industry so you don't so whatever i don't know what meats you eat but i know you eat chicken so chicken mm. is obviously like they're they're battery farmed they're you know chucked in cages and they're basically processed where for they belong their meat kidding, and their eggs kidding, and, kidding. well <laughs> Kidding, you eat much. burgers i'm sure i'm sure you've yeah. eaten burgers and sausages and stuff mm-hmm. so that's like pro- I have, yeah. you know yeah so you know your your pigs and your your cows that are you know chucked into small pens and you know pushed through slaughterhouses and all this jazz you know mm-hmm. that is what you're doing by eating meat is a hundred percent worse than me having a cat in my house so mm-hmm. screw you <laughs> i'm glad you brought this up oh god i've opened a can of worms <laughs> Do you know what's interesting about that? What? It's the same argument I made to you the other day. You, be, you, you as a vegan can sit on your little high horse and tell me this. And you're right. I, obviously, you know. I, I, it'd be interesting to see if I do get some hate for this because I am mostly kidding. <laughs> and you know that about me, but most obviously people I know, I don't know, know, I know. me. If uh, you weren't um, kidding, I wouldn't, I wouldn't carry on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think everyone, if you want to be vegan, that's fantastic. At least you're fighting for a cause. Like, it's more than I fucking do. It's all great. I, I'm just kidding. I just like poking fun at things. And I can poke fun about vegans without getting cancelled. I can't poke fun about religion, which is what I really want to poke fun at. But anyway. <laughs> um, you're not vegan because you buy from Pizza Hut and Papa John's. So you might buy the vegan option, but that company's still getting your money to kill more animals. We had this conversation the other day, and that one I genuinely stand by. I think you can't say, oh, but, you know, I'm buying the vegan pizza when it's a company that still is responsible for the killing and entrapment, blah, 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 of millions of and animals, and they're still going to use your money to do that. So you're still funding a company that does horrible things. I you mean, I don't... buy I don't, from those places at all. I don't deny that. Yeah. But there's that a one limit I stand by to, as being a real point. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I don't deny that. Mm. But there's a limit to yeah. how I want to enjoy my life, you know? If I was to not buy anything from anywhere that had either a history of animal violence, um, has tested on animals, does test on animals or uses animal products in their entire company, mm. um, I would not be able to do anything. You know, That's a lie. You, I, there's plenty of vegan companies now that you could solely from. You're just lazy and want a quick, easy pizza at the end of the night. You're choosing yeah, your own course. comfort over being a vegan, which means you're not a real vegan. And you also own Converse, and they use horse, horses in their glue, so... And I love Nando's, but I'm not going to stop going to Nando's just because they use chicken. No, I fucking love that. You're vegan. You're half good. vegan. Sure, sure, I'm a half vegan. As I said earlier, I am only a vegan because I... You know, it's a dietary requirement. I don't like the, the how how eating meat makes me feel. 
not because of the animals or whatever, but because literally the physical feeling is uncomfortable. Um, I'm genuinely curious so about thought, that. What happened in your life to change that? Because you were a meat eater when I first met you. So what changed? Sorry, what, what was that? Sorry? I was a meat I'm, eater. I'm okay, curious. Yeah. Yeah, because when okay, I first yeah. met you, you were you were vegetarian, right? When mm. I first met you, you weren't vegan. Yeah, so I was... No, you were, def- no, been... you were a meat eater when I first met you, and then you went to veg, and then you went to vegan, I think. Yeah, so I was, I've was i always yeah. been kind of what they call a reductionist, I think is what they call them. Mm-hmm. Whereas I try not to eat... I tried not to eat a lot of meat. Um, and it was... So, yeah, so I, I tried to go plant-based or, or, you know, alternatives or whatever. But I'd love a juicy burger, not going to lie. Um, mm. Then I met Jordan. Jordan's a full vegan, and it was easier for me to not just cut out meat entirely or animal products entirely because I'm more of the cook. So if I'm cooking, I'd have to cook either two meals or I identify somehow that, you know, I'm going to cook some meat to put in afterwards. There's alternatives that we can both have that it was just easier for my life to just be a vegan there's no mm-hmm. downsides to it and yeah sometimes yeah 100 percent. sometimes i miss having a chicken breast or uh, going to a, a gbk and having a big big fat meaty beef burger yeah of course i do but i'm not an idiot i also miss smoking but <laughs> you know oh, um, smoking's the best right. i'm a little confused though and this is going to sound like a shot and i really don't mean it to be but you told me yeah. you don't like the, uh, the way it feels eating meat but then you just said you change because your partner doesn't eat meat. Yeah, so if it's so sorry, I'll, I'll clarify. So it was more like yeah. if I was to eat a lot of meat. It's like if I eat a lot of bread, mm. I I get constipated, you know, <laughs> as people do. If I ate a lot of meat, I'd get like stomach pains. Um yeah. so I would try not to. So it was an easy change to go full vegan as opposed to, you know, having a little bit of little bit of meat here and there. You know, I didn't, I didn't drink cow's milk anyway. I, the only thing I really miss is eggs. Cheese, I don't don't really care for cheese. I don't really care for it. I don't, I honestly don't. Like, even the fake stuff, I barely put on my food. Like, uh, I I don't really care for cheese. Like, a pizza, yeah. But there's good enough vegan pizzas these days that you can't really tell the difference, you know. Um, Mm. Eggs, I miss, but I don't agree with how they're farmed. So I happily miss that out. And yeah, no, I just, I think, yeah, the reason, the main reason is because it was a, it was an ease of, ease of life thing. Like it was mm. easier for me to cook one meal as opposed to two. Um, but yeah. It is interesting. I do find the stuff interesting because I, I, as I said, I ultimately don't give a fuck if one should do what they wish and make them happy. But yeah, as you know, I'm quite a, a what's the word? A pessimistic pessimist? What's that? I can't speak English. English isn't my first Pest- language, so it's okay. Um, <laughs> what is? Uh, uh, being an idiot, that's my first language. Oh, nice. Um, it's just one of those things like, I don't know, put your time and effort into better causes. It's sometimes sometimes what I think. And everyone's got their own opinion. And I don't do anything. I want to be clear. I'm, I'm sitting on my high horse being a piece of shit that does nothing to push anything forward or make the world better. <laughs> so I'm considerably worse than every single vegan. I get that. I, and again, Mark knows me. I am just, I like, I just like winding people up and having these conversations. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. I, I mean. And it, I love animals and I don't, and I've said to you before, like, if they could nail cheese, I could go vegan. Like, but Bro, cheese the, is too fake. The cathedral city that they've recently brought out. Oh, that is the closest thing. That is the closest thing. It's a bit stinky, but like mm. cathedral city is kind of stinky anyway. Um, but yeah, no, that's the closest thing. And Applewood. So it's a bit expensive, but like those two brands, they're the closest thing. That I yeah, I'll give them a most. try. Do but it, I just think like, it. I love animals. I don't want to see them harmed. Yes, I, I understand the irony that I eat meat and I'm saying I don't want to see them harmed. But like, I don't know, put your time and effort into something way better, such as fighting child slavery and not fucking veganism. But, but I like but it. We all I have like my things, little, don't we? I like my child slave, you know, bringing me drinks when I'm thirsty and stuff. Wow, one could argue that, you know, (laughs) Jesus Christ. Anyway, you want to spend like a quick five minutes talking about video games? We just want to call it there. Yeah, no, let's do it. Let's let's quickly do it. Let's quickly go through it. Yeah, which was supposed to be the main topic, but instead it was stupid facts, carrots and veganism. And I will will put a little... 
I'll put a little bow on it of being like, I am, I'm just winding Mark up and having some fun. Everyone sh is entitled to do what they want, and I don't care because it doesn't affect me. I love it. I fucking love it. I'm not going to lie. And when I'm, when I'm criticising vegans, I just want to be clear, I'm actually criticising Mark because it's fun. Yeah. Just me. Um, just Mark. Yes. So, Jedi, you finished it. Jedi, Jedi Survivor. Yes, I have. You, you've finished it. Final rating, out of five, go. Out of five, I'm sticking with my four. Um, four? I think it's uh, a fantastic game. I very much enjoyed it. I really liked the story, though I do understand some of the criticism that it doesn't pick up for a little while. It's a little slow at the beginning. But I absolutely yep. love Cal Kestis as a character, so I enjoyed my time with it. I love seeing the character development, and there's some great moments in it. Um, though I would argue there's better gameplay wow moments than there are story wow moments. Um, full spoilers, because I won't spoil it for Mark, but spoilers potentially for other people depending where they are but i know you've done the merin gameplay moment i think which is very very good mm -hmm. um yeah. all that teleporting is just fantastic yeah that's um, fun yeah i did like that and that to me was more impressive than many of the story beats now it didn't help that certain people in my life had ruined um parts of the story for me whether it be tiktok or just yeah other people <laughs> um <laughs> But you know, I don't, I don't hold grudge. I don't care. It's just a video game. But my point is, like, yep. um, I knew a lot of the point I was trying to make. This, I knew a lot of the story beat. So none of the twist turns or big moments really. I was like, I knew this was coming. So I don't know if that's part of the reason that I'm like the gameplay was more impressive than the story. Um, it's a yep. lot of fun. I this I agree with everyone that's saying like it's not like a massive leap forward in gameplay improvements but it's enough where it's everything's better than it was the first time around but it's not you know groundbreaking new stuff it's taken what worked really well in the first game and just built on it um so yeah i enjoyed it a lot it's funny i had a couple of tech problems but nowhere near as bad as people were saying until i completed the story and then i it crashed like three times every time i played it oh god <laughs> so yeah very fun game it's better than the first I'm interested to see where the trilogy goes. Oh, hopefully that it's a trilogy. Hmm. So I am. Um, I have. I'm just doing the Darth Vader fight. Big spoiler there. Um, mm -hmm. I, ha I haven't yet got past it. I was really tired the other night and I couldn't do it. But um, I'd give it. I'd give it a four. Solid four. You're close to the um, end. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I know about Bode, obviously, which I said yes, at the beginning. Yeah. I did not fucking trust him. And yeah, bad. Sarah's so dad I... posted that on Facebook. That's how I found oh, out. Oh, really? That. Yeah, that on the day bastard. it came out. <laughs> yeah, that it's funny. Um, it's, he's the same one he told me about Joel's death and Last of Us too, as well. Yeah. <laughs> I am. Um, um, so I really fine. like it. I'm excited to see where it's going. I, I mean, I agree with all your points, but I enjoy. I'm, I, I did enjoy the first one more so far. So I don't know if that's, a... yeah, I enjoyed playing the first one more than I've enjoyed playing this one, but it's mm. not to say that I haven't enjoyed playing this one, just to say, but yeah, I agree with all your I points. will, I will say something about Mac because we haven't chatted shit about him yet. I want to chat a little bit shit about him and it's related okay. to the topic. We're not, we're not, we're, we're not going off into um, a tangent like we have done for the last hour. He platinumed it last night, which, you know, congratulations to the fat bastard. Um, <laughs> I said I wasn't going to do this. Come on, be nice. <laughs> congratulations to the perfectly built person, prick. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. And his, he said something that, that irked me a little bit last night. Um, he he's say? always irking me, if I'm honest. But he said, let me, let me check the group chat. You know, I'll paraphrase because I pretty much remember. It was something on the lines of... Didn't even need a guide. As long as you scan all three levels, you'll get everything. This is what he said, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm not one to call someone a liar. You know, I'm very, I'm very conservative me. I don't like calling people out. But I think he's a lying piece of shit in this scenario. Uh, and I'll tell you for why. I'm pretty sure one of those pirates, you have to lead an animal to... You do. Lead an animal to the barn... Wait for it yep. to shit, and, and then dig through the shit, and there's a pirate. 100%, there yeah, that's right. No way he knew how to do that without a guide. Because <laughs> it's not on the map. Yep. So this little fucker's like, I yep. don't even use a guide. I'm like, don't know, buddy. I 
think. I mean, he might have seen it in like a, a TikTok story or something. Yeah, which means maybe. He didn't need a guide, but I, I get what you mean. But yeah, I just think he's a little bit of a liar. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, right. But yeah, okay. Solid fours across the board. Um, mm-hmm. Next one. Um, what was it? Dead Island Two or Redfall? Oh, Dead Island Two. Dead Island Two. Yeah, because I haven't played yes, it. So never played it. Yeah. Give me, give me. Oh, I love that game. Give me a quick rundown. I, th- that game Score has a little special place in my heart. Uh, it's like a four again. Four. Um, nice. I very rarely give out fives. Um, give I me just, some good and bad points. It, 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 it did what Redfall couldn't do, which was at the heart of Dead Island, it is a basic as fuck game. There's no denying it. The It is A to B, very similar quests over and over again. Um, mm-hmm. And... Uh, but it did what Redfall couldn't in a sense it made it fun. I know I'm going yeah. to the next quest, which is going to be a very similar thing to the last quest. Blah, blah, blah. But the killing, the zombies being everywhere, the different types, all the all the weapons and upgrades, the gore mechanics, which are still just so impressive, how great they did with the gore mechanics. Um, the flesh mm-hmm. system, as they called it. Um, nice. It's just, it's just so much fun. And it's enjoyable and... You just lose yourself in it to be like, oh, and there's a lot more to do in that world. Obviously, we spoke a big thing we said about Redfall is, you know, we can get to point A and point B without ever coming into conflict with anyone. Um, yeah. Whereas there's zombies, obviously, everywhere. And there's little, you know, side quests to do that are interesting. And there are collectibles to find and weapons and all kinds of little reasons to go into these places. And the collectibles are way more interesting, I thought. At the heart, I think those two are almost the same game in terms of the kind of basic, but one just managed to uh, nail the fun feeling, and that was Dead Island. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed that game. I'm gonna probably go back and platinum it. I was working on it the other day, and then I oh, really yeah. quit like a little girl or a little boy. I'm not nice, being, you, know, you know what I mean? Like a, a child is a better way to say it. Well, yeah, no, yeah, because yeah. you know, I'm not uh, little girl's kind of outdated thing to say now, isn't it? But I raged like a child, basically. Um, because I couldn't do something, and it wasn't even that hard. <laughs> I was just I was being an idiot. Um, yeah. Okay. So I really enjoyed that. It's a lot of fun in co-op, um, and it's another one of those I've been talking about a lot recently with you. Is like podcast games. So now I've completed the main mm-hmm. story. I'm just enjoying listening to podcasts while I play this. And it's a lot of fun. A yeah. Lot of fun. Nice. I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. I hope yeah. you do go back and get the platinum because. Um... I, yeah. I, I fully it's... intend to and it shouldn't be too much difficult I just raged at it the other day and I didn't come back and then I've been playing uh, <laughs> you know I played Chivalry 2 for a bit fantastic game oh yeah um, Love that. I played Power Watch Simulator on the Xbox on Game Pass for a while right oh mate let me it's tell good. you this I played it before but I thought I'm getting in, I'm getting in that simulator game place mm. um, so I'm playing it and playing it. And over the course of like two days, I was working on this massive area of cleaning it. It probably took me like three or four hours. And I finished it and I was like, nice. And it was, you know, five stars. You, you've cleaned everything 100%. And I was like, cool. And then it crashed and forced closed. And, and no. I thought, no, I, what, what's going to happen? Like, I'm going to have to do this whole level again, aren't I? Yes, Jack, you are. I'd- cool. I thought I'd fill that in for you. <laughs> are you still there i nod. i nodded yeah, yeah i went yeah. oh yeah you, I, I can't see um yeah i forget <laughs> and i was like i'm gonna have to do this whole fucking level again it's like four hours wasted and you know what i was wrong mark i had to do the whole game oh. again it completely wiped my safe oh <laughs> yeah i lost everything oh, my whole game for everything that's... i played up until i stopped playing power wash and then everything since i've come back to it all gone lost it for good that's that's really upsetting like, I've actually yeah. heard you feel bad for you. Yeah, that me. game I, is, I was, is tedious. But yeah, fun, I was but tedious. internally so mad. But yeah, so I've been like jumping around from games. So I need to come back to it. But you know, bust him later soon. So we'll see when I come back to it. But I do intend oh, to. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Pop, 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 it. Nice, yeah. good. Glad to hear it. Right, Redfall, we're not going to. Uh, we're not going to dive into Redfall. Redfall, it's shit. I'd probably give it a one star. I'm not even going to bother right now. I play it. I never went back to it. And yeah, I'm not going to, I deleted twice, it off but... my Xbox already. Good. Yeah, Redfall shit. Don't play it unless they, you know, completely revamp it. Speedstorm, yeah. I'd probably give it a two because it's fun as a cart game. 
you know, it's better than some of the other ones like Nickelodeon Kart Racer and I don't know what else there's out there. But I know there's a couple that are shit. It's good. Um, obviously, it's early access, so hopefully the full game when it comes out, it'll be much, much better. Um, Disney, it's a lot of fun, but, you know, it's repetitive. Um, music's great. Lack of characters, it's a bit hard to upgrade your characters too. So, two stars, three maybe if you really enjoy kart racing like me, but, yeah, I'd probably give it two in average. So, yeah, that's that. That is that. What a podcast, Mark. Oh, man, this is a, this has been a good one. Uh, we've definitely gone off a topic a bit, but, you know, it's part of the fun. Yeah, so what did we cover today? We covered Michael Crichton. <laughs> Michael Crichton. Our, our plants and carrots. Oh, yeah. Our plants and carrots. Just, you can only eat uh, a rose or some shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We d- d- took a deep dive into veganism. veganism yeah. And we... Oh, there was, oh, we figured out that you don't have a Switch, so you can't play Zelda, which is fine. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then our main topic we were going to discuss for an hour, we've done in five minutes. Yeah, and I think that's good. I think, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think the fans will uh, will enjoy. Our I think I'm getting cancelled. <laughs> well, if you're getting cancelled, so am I, because I said I had a child slave, so which I don't. Just saying. Not anymore. He, he had to sell it. <laughs> yeah, um, he's gone. He's gone to the next one. Okay, the, if you look at our statistics, all right, we get twenty, thirty views, which isn't that much as it is, but the watch time's like two minutes long, so we're, no one's making it far enough into no the one's... podcast. <laughs> Awesome. we're fine right. but knowing our luck this is the one that pops off this is the one that gets you know 50,000 views and fuck we're fine oh man I'd be I'd be happy and sad at the same time but yeah you know what I'm gonna right, double down uh... and religion right fuck no I'm <laughs> just kidding <laughs> <laughs> let's uh let's sign off Jack take it away if you're a vegan <laughs> you should strongly consider what are you doing with your life being great. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I, I don't, don't come for me, internet. I'm sorry. This, this is a, st- a satirical podcast, right, Mark? Yes, yes, yes. As a vegan, give me the pass that I've, everything I've said is okay and can't be cancelled for, please. You're fine. You've got the pass, the V pass. Nice. And on that note, like, comment, subscribe, do all that other shit YouTubers say to annoy you. In the comments, roast me for being an idiot. And saying really dumb stuff that I don't mean just to wind Mark up. Yeah. Until next time. Please do it. Eat meat.